Party after garnering 33 votes from the 36 cast in the exercise in Arusha. Our regional reporter Eugene Anangwe has the details. Right, it is now official that uh, the East African Legislative Assembly has a speaker, and the speaker is none other than Honorable Martin Goga from Rwanda. That is the contestant who was actually, uh, or the candidate who was vying for this particular position from Rwanda. Please accept my profound appreciation to you all for conferring unto me such honor. I salute my worthy co I salute the efforts and a deserved participation of my competitors and I'm ready to work with you all now that we are past this event. But the session was not an easy one. It all started off once the uh, clerk of uh, the uh, parliament uh, did uh, mention that it was time to actually resume the business of election of speaker. And that's when the Tanzanian members actually stood up on a point to actually call for the clerk to do a count to just check for quorum. Now, I beg anyone here to show me where it says that the East African Legislative Assembly can be minus two partner states. Looking at rule number six, which says House, the definition of House says Assembly. Assembly goes to the treaty. Honorary Magembe, but information. You, so sorry. my point is, let me finish. Again, they want to second that, then I'll give you a chance to mm -hmm. oppose it. We are not that's even recognizing the motion. No, but that's... You. I am using the word frustrated deliberately, because if this House can sit twice, yesterday and today, and we have not been given a chance to understand what causes the absence of elected members who have sworn in and nominated in this house. I think it is a deliberate effort to frustrate the election of the speaker and I will impute bad motive on the two countries for us to proceed with this assembly. Because we have been here, we have waited for six months. How more, how much time do we still have to waste before we can start business of this house? There is an issue raised by the Republic of Burundi, which requires further guidance for the Republic of Burundi feel very comfortable, very comfortable in this house. And before the guidance is provided, this assembly was pushing and forcing to vote, to go for election. And the Burundi felt very bad. That's why they decided to get out. I am fearing. I am on my feet. I want to request my colleagues who believe we should take a vote to be on, the, on their feet now, like I do. <laughs> Honourable members, uh, uh, Mr. Speaker, I, I have heard you. Thank you. you I, 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 end my, I end my presentation. Thank you. <laughs> At some point, the Council of East African Community Ministers was accused of actually trying to meddle in the affairs of the East African Legislative Assembly, which is supposed to be seen as independent. First of all, I was in a meeting of an extraordinary Council of Ministers this morning, mm -hmm. and no decision was taken to submit this matter to the summit. Mm -hmm. I was in the meeting, and, and there was no consensus on these issues. Mm -hmm. We discussed about uh, how to, uh, to convey our message uh, to the public and to the, to the uh, Assembly, and we, what uh, we agreed on is uh, to, uh, to, to describe the, the position of each uh, country, Burundi and Tanzania, and to see how the ALR can solve the issue. But no decision was taken. I was, I asked, I requested the floor on several occasions to uh, to make that clarification, and uh, fortunately, I didn't have uh, that opportunity. In the end, Martin Goga from Rwanda was the only contestant who actually was present in the gallery to actually introduce himself and make his final plea for the members to vote for him. The first round of the election of speaker did not achieve its result as far as uh, having a winner is concerned after Martin Goga garnered 35 out of the 36 vote, which was not actually the two-thirds majority as required by the law as far as election of the speaker is 
is concerned. And this necessitated a second round of vote, which actually the laws uh, was actually very clear in this as far as who wins this. The person with the majority of votes out of the top two uh, contenders in the first round of vote is actually the one to be declared the winner. And in the end, Martin Goga from Rwanda was declared the speaker of the fourth assembly of the East African Legislative Assembly. I, Ngoga Karoli Martin, do swear that I will truly and faithfully serve the East African Legislative Assembly in the office of the speaker and that in the exercise of the roles and functions of this office, I will do right to all manner of persons according to the treaty for the establishment. Well, it's quite clear that the East African Legislative Assembly, the fourth house, has started on a rocky uh, mood, of course, looking at the way events unfolded right here in Arusha, Tanzania. But what now remains to be seen is that the speaker of the house, newly elected speaker, has his work clearly cut out. That of uniting the members of the house, considering the walkout by Tanzania and the protest by Burundi as far as these elections are concerned. And also, as far as as you know changing the image of this particular organ as far as the trust is concerned from the members of public who have sort of created a perception about them based on the events right here in Arusha Tanzania for KTN news in Arusha I'm Eugene Anangwe reporting thank you Eugene so 36 votes only cast Burundi and Tanzania for